welcome to intellect mentee in our last session we started with periodic trends so this was the property atomic radius we had just finished in the last video let's revise in short and we will move to the second trend what you can see here is from left to right in the periodic in the modern periodic table in period atomic radius decreases you can see here the lithium to beryllium then atomic radius is what decreasing from left to right and in the group from top to bottom what is happening atomic radius is increased and how is it why is it if you want to find answer for that then please visit my previous video now we are going to start with second the most important periodic trend that is valence this periodic trend is quite very simple than atomic radius so if you remember i have given you the one task in my third or fourth video you have to complete this table so what is the table is valency so here hydrogen 1 lithium 1 sodium 1 potassium 1 this all elements belongs to group number 1 and this all elements having valency 1 similarly let's check for the group number 2 Beryllium, it's four. So we have two comma two. So valency will be here two. We can say magnesium will be twelve. So it's two comma eight comma two. So valency will be two. Calcium twenty two eight eight two. So here valency also two. So we can say for the group number two, all the elements having valency same is two. so what you can conclude from this for the valency in group what happens in group in valency in the group remains same because all the elements contains same number of valence electron in their outermost shell therefore valency e of each and every element in group number 1 it's similar so what is the case in terms of periods so now let's understand what will happen in periods so before we going to start with periods i want to solve one question here let's start with that let's calculate the valency in the period so if you have from the left to right you have you have the periods let's consider example number period number 3 lithium beryllium boron carbon nitrogen oxygen fluorine and neon you have the lithium 3 so valency will become what 2 comma 1 valency will become 1 i am writing valency on the top of the element so valency will become 1 let's consider for the next let's write down all the electrons configuration 3 4 then you have uh, your 5 Six. These are the atomic numbers. You should remember this all example from period number two and three at least. Then you have here two comma two. Here we will have two comma three. Here two comma four. Two comma five. Two comma six. Seven and eight. Okay. So let's calculate now valences. So as you know, here. 2 comma 2 so in this case the beryllium will have valency 2 2 comma 3 so boron needs to donate this three electrons so valency becomes 3 so this valency plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 2 comma 4 so in this case carbon will have valency 4 now here it 2 comma 5 so nitrogen will accept three electrons that's why the valency becomes minus 3 6 So it's what it required two electrons. So it will accept two. That's valence become minus two and seven. So it will require one electron. So valence becomes minus one. Here the eight electrons. So it's no need to donate or accept any electron. So valence will become zero. So what you can see in the period from left to right, what is happening in case of valence? Will it be remain same or it is increasing or decreasing? So we can say. from left to right in the modern periodic table valency initially what is happening initially valency initially increases 
see this from 1 to 4 what is happening valency initially increases from 1 to 4 and then it will be decreased from 4 to 0 so you can say initially increase and then it will be decreased so this is all about valency in modern periodic table so the last remaining is metallic and non-metallic character that we will see in next video thank you please if you are liking if you are like my videos then please subscribe share so we can reach to the maximum students thank you so much